is Midnight and today we have our wands because we are going to talk about a very important topic that you've been asking me for long, which is magical dueling in Hogwarts Mystery. So before we start with the guide of magical combat in our favorite game, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so YouTube lets you know when I upload the next one. By the way, if you have not already, go get somewhere to write on because with these tips you are going to win your duels even if you are in a disadvantage. First of all, let's go to the bases. Dueling is played by turns. The one that attacks first is the player that chooses the winning posture. Wow, wow, slow down, egghead. Forty beats defensive, defensive beats aggressive, and aggressive beats 40. Oh, and I should also mention that the price to duel is 500 coins. Since this part of the mechanic is similar to rock, paper, scissor, we do have to take into consideration that luck, whether we like it or not, is a factor in this part. Of course, it does help to try to catch a pattern in your rival that maybe he always uses aggressive or defensive posture or anything in particular that you notice in people's fighting style. But the one thing that's not recommendable is for you to depend on being the first one to attack to win because this does not depend entirely on you. If you get hit first, heal. Yeah, I know, I'm the worst one to tell you that because that's why I'm losing all the time in Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> because I'm fighting, I'm dueling, I do not recover with the herbovitalizing potions and they lower my HP to the bottom. But precisely because of this, I know what I'm talking about. One thing to remember also is that dueling in Hogwarts Mystery is not like in Pokemon that maybe you get hit first but you do a one-hit knockout in your turn and you kill your rival. In Hogwarts Mystery, no. It's never gonna happen like that because the most you can lower on one hit is about half. And that only if you use a spell that lowers a lot of HP and you also get a booster because of your attributes. But even so, you are not going to lower all the energy of your rival in one strike. So if you get hit first, I know that's very angering and very irritating, but don't think about getting even, think about getting healed. If you are the first to attack in the beginning of the duel, do not waste that turn in healing yourself. First of all, because you don't need it. They haven't hit you, they haven't lowered your energy, so what for? But also, do not do it because it's a waste of a turn that can backfire on you later on the duel. Remember that you cannot have more HP points than the maximum possible, which means that if your bar is full, no matter how many potions you drink or how many pixies you do, you're not going to get extra health points that you can store for later when you get hit. And when it comes to the next turns, it will depend. Take a close look at your HP and your rivals. If your HP is higher and with one strike you're going to defeat your rival, the most practical thing to do is go ahead and do that. Because if just to show off, you decide to heal when he is almost defeated and then he heals as well and beats you, I don't want to tell you how irritating that is. So a good parameter could be, if my rival is almost defeated, one strike and they are done, I do an offensive spell. If I am almost defeated, like one more strike and they kill me, then I heal. And if I'm somewhere in between, I will try to do an offensive spell that lowers a fair amount of health points, or if not possible, I will do one that has a secondary effect. There are three main types of combating spells. Healing. These are used to restore your HP. They are recommended when your HP level is lower than your rival, when they are about to defeat you with one more strike, or when you are under a spell with secondary effects that's constantly lowering your HP. If you want to get rid of a secondary effect, Glacius will take care of this and it will also recover some of your HP. Offensive. You use this to lower the HP of your rival. Since this is the main objective of dueling, these will be the ones that you use the most. Technical. To eliminate the secondary effects that your rival gave you, or to induce them in him. These are very useful if your rival has higher attributes than you, but you have to use them wisely because they barely lower any HP and the secondary effect does not always occur. The secondary effects can either keep you from attacking or drain your HP for a certain amount of turns. If they strike you with Desmaius or the type of spells that have Stonement as a secondary effect, you will be stunned and unable to attack from 1 to 2 turns. Luckily here is not like in Pokemon that you could be sleeping the rest of the battle in the first generations and <laughs> you would be humiliatedly defeated. And on the other hand, if you get hit by spells like Bombarda or Incendio that burn you, or like Defindo that cuts you and makes you bleed for 8 turns, 
or if you get beaten or stung by an animal, you will get poisoned, you will get exhausted. That I think that's the name of the, the secondary effect, exhaustion. And that will be draining your HP from one to eight turns, depending on the effect, depending on the spell. And of course, the amount of HP that gets drained if it's for eight turns is much lower than if it's for one or two. The first player to lose all his HP loses. So take this into consideration before choosing your next move. If you only have enough energy left to take one more strike and after that you're dead, if you can heal, always do so. Do not get distracted. And not only because you can lose like this, but also because these combats are in real time. Three hours later. And therefore if you're multitasking and taking forever between every move, you're making a real person wait so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Do not try to use the same strategy with everybody. First of all, because it's not gonna work. Every rival is different, every duel is different, and therefore they could even start catching a pattern and make it much easier for you to get defeated. But on the other hand, you don't always get the same spell set, so you cannot even do this doing the same strategy every time, because you may not get the spell that you always use in a particular duel. One thing that I can give you as a very good piece of advice is be very observant of your rival. Check his strategy, his dueling style, and plan accordingly. For example, if you see them using just brute force, just offensive spells and no technical ones, you do the opposite. You start using technicals and lower their HP until it's low enough for you to strike it with just one hit. Oh boy, great strategy! Is the lesson about over? Uh, did, 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 did you get the point? <laughs> yes, yes, brain over brain! Okay then, I'll fix the big brute. And if all the opposite, your rival is just striking you with technical spells and not doing any offensives, then you can take an advantage that he's basically wasting time and just hit them with offensive non-stop. Don't be a show-off. First of all, because honestly, it's horrible to have to dwell with somebody like that. You know the type of person that if your HP bar is like this, about to finish and they can kill you already, they will do a pisky or something to heal themselves just to humiliate you like, look, I could kill you, but before I'm going to show off in front of you. If you have dwelled with somebody like that, it's just awful. It pisses me off to the point of wanting to punch the wall. I don't because I don't want to hurt my hand, but it is very irritating. So my advice in that sense would be, let's not contribute to make the dueling mechanic in the game toxic, and all the opposite, let's try to keep the Hogwarts mystery community as healthy as it can be. And besides, if it was not enough, remember that luck changes in this dueling mechanic from one turn to another. So right now you can be very happy humiliating your rival, and next turn, luck shifts to his side, and now you are the one getting humiliated. So let's keep away from that. Remember that this is a game, it's to have fun, not to humiliate people, and to ruin their afternoon. I know it's ironic to do an action to criticize it. Don't mention it. Be a good loser. I know, I'm the worst one to be telling you this, I'm a terrible loser in Hogwarts Legacy, but one thing is to get very angry because we lost and maybe we ruined our afternoon, but that's it, it's our afternoon ruined, not everybody else's. And another very different thing is to report a player just because we are mad that they beat us. If you're very angry because your rival defeated you, but you know they won fair and square, do not report him. Remember that doing this can cause the player to get banned from Jam City and to lose their progress. So if it's fair, if they deserve it, by all means. But if it isn't, I think doing that just because you're mad because you lost is too much. Always keep your attributes high, because especially the duels in the time-limited missions and the online duels will always demand you a higher level of attributes. All right, Midnighters, this would be all for today. But don't worry, because I also remember that you requested me to make a video of how to win a duel when your attributes are low. Up, 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 up. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, you, how does the rest of that go? So if you still want that video, help me bursting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and clicking on the bell so YouTube lets you know when I upload that guide and the next. And of course, remember that Mrs. Midnight loves you and hopes to see you next time.